Hey everyone, Back Photography here, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be editing a photo from another YouTuber, a YouTuber called Noe Alonso, and I'm going to leave his channel as a link in the description of this video so you can check him out. And basically, he's a photography YouTuber who specializes in nighttime photography and doing things like neon and cyberpunk and anime and stuff like that, and get some really awesome, interesting photos with like blues and pink undertones and neon looks and that sort of thing. So today I've got one of his raw files here that he has, he's sent to me and I'm going to try and edit it in sort of his style. This is going to be a one take. I haven't edited this photo before so I really don't know how it's going to turn out. So let's just have um, jump right in right now and see what we can come up with with this photo. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content as I'll be making a lot more content like this in the future. And also let me know who you would like to see in this channel. Um, if you do enjoy this sort of video, I can make more with different photographers and we can see who I can collaborate with in the future uh, to do this again. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. The first thing I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to try and make this photo into sort of a neon looking image. I'm gonna to try to make it look cyberpunky and urban and futuristic. So I'm gonna go for blue colors and also pink colors and try to turn it into a neon photo. So this photo is quite interesting because it was shot at F1 and I think this was shot on a Fujifilm camera. I'm also gonna leave the raw file in the description. So if anyone else wants to try it out, they're welcome to. I've never shot um, a camera at F1 before and I've never edited a photo at F1 either. So I'm not sure if this is um, an APS-C F1, which would be around F1.4 on a full frame, but it's still interesting to see um, that this was shot on an F1. So the first thing I'm going to do is really bump up the clarity super high. And I might drop this down a little bit in the future, but just so I can see what I'm doing a little bit more in this image and because this image is quite underexposed in certain areas I think we're going to see a lot of noise in the end of this photo so we'll see how we go we might have to do quite substantial noise reduction at the end so I'm going to really boost up the shadows as well because one thing that I've noticed in Noe's photos is that often the images are quite flat in a good way and this is so you can kind of see all of the different pathways and that sort of thing in the urban scene and also just so you can see more detail in the image. And also you'll see in mangas and things like that that often they don't use um, a lot of shadows and you can sometimes really go deep into the image and see all of the background and that sort of thing. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm also going to boost the blacks up a little bit as well. And as I do that, you're going to see that we introduce a lot of noise into this image as well, but we'll try to get rid of that as best we can a little bit later on. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a whole bunch of pink and then also we will put in some blue as well. So we'll just play around with these sliders for a little bit and see where we come up with and then maybe I'll boost the vibrance and just drop the saturation a little bit as well. So here I'm just changing all the colors just to see what colors I like the look of. And because we were starting off with quite a yellow image, it's going to be quite difficult to make the whole scene look sort of pink naturally, but uh, we'll see what we can do and we'll try our best to make it look pink and pretty and unusual. Because we're going for a neon look, so pinks are really popular for that and also blues are really popular for that as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm just um, increasing the brightness of the pinks and blues to hopefully uh, make them stand out more without them going super blue or super pink like this. Okay, so I think I maybe boosted the shadows a little bit too high because if, if we go really far and we can see it's very, very noisy. So if I just reduce the shadows a little bit, we can see that some of that noise is hidden away in the shadows. What I can also do is keep them boosted up and add some contrast as well. That can also help too. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another pass with clarity, but I'm only gonna do it in these areas up here and also on the sides here, because we can see some reflection shadows and some shininess sort of in these areas. So we're just going to accentuate that a little bit by adding even more clarity to this image. And I'm just gonna drop the black shadows and exposure just so I can see exactly where I've painted as well. Also, make sure to check out Noe's YouTube as well. He's got some really interesting tutorials and he showcases how he actually makes all of his photos into cool neon photos or make them look like anime and that sort of thing. And it's really interesting to see his style because it is completely different to mine. 
So this is before we change any of that clarity and just after we boost it up a little bit more. So I think that's going to be pretty much everything we do in here. Now let's jump into the native Photoshop and see what else we can do with this image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into the noise and I'm just going to go to filter noise despeckle and I'm going to just despeckle a couple times. We're going to lose a little bit of detail but that is okay because really there is no focus to this image. It's more of a landscape. So I don't think it's, it matters that much that we lose a little bit of detail. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go noise, reduce noise, and just going to make it so that we reduce the noise basically in the entire image. We won't go super hectic with this. We'll leave some detail in there, but just reducing the noise again this way, is just another way to attack the noise and make it um, go away in another different way that the despeckle might not help with. So we can see now that we have definitely lost a little bit of detail here, but um, I think it looks better than the noise that we had before. All right, so another thing we might do is just go into the adjustment sliders and then we might choose to make those pinks a little bit more pink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the magentas and boost them up all the way just so I can see them. And then we'll focus just on the pink areas, like so. And then this is basically what it looked like before. And I'm just going to boost it up a little bit here, just to make everything even more purple. So I think that's everything for this image. Uh, this was a first pass and I hope you like it. I think it looks quite interesting. I think it's quite an interesting photo of Korea. Please let me know if you like it and I'm looking forward to all of your edits as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this sort of content and check out Noe's channel as well if you're interested in seeing how he edits his photos and makes really cool neon photos on his channel. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.